Welcome to Martin Machines and another Steamroller Battle Report. My brother and me continue to test the radio deployment scenarios, and this time it's Command and Control at 35 points, also Sogdavir vs. Sebastian Nemo. Enjoy! As you can see, we're using one of the Kadoran All Purpose tokens to mark the center of the board, and the blank medium bases are the four flags. I should note beforehand that my nodes aren't completely exhaustive, so. If a model isn't mentioned, it probably did not do anything absolutely worth mentioning. In my list I had also Zoktavir, the Butcher of Kardov, with the Juggernaut Victor, the Kodiak Boris and the Devastator Nikita, supported by a minimum unit of Iron Fing Pikeman with unit detachment, the Great Bears of Galloswood, Lady Ayana and Master Holt and Dragon the Wardog. Our list had Commander Sebastian Nemo in charge of a Lancer, a Stormclad and an Ironclad. The Stormblade Death Star, that is Stormblades with unit detachment and three weapon attachments, the Storm Tower, Rupert Cavolo, the Piper of Ward, Reinhold, the Gobber Speculator, and Sulis Vishnalur, the Seeker. Butcher gets to go first and allocates one focus to Victor and Nikita, then the Jacks run into position. Ayana and Hold move up and veil, the Great Bears charge the Stormblades for Pathfinder, and the Iron Fang Pikeman run. The Butcher goes last and slaps Fury onto Nikita as well as Iron Flash on the Pikeman. Nemo gives one focus to the Lancer and the Ironclad and then messes up his order of activation because next the Piper pipes Hero's Call for the Stormblades, the Stormblades assault the Bears and while we were still doing a drawing with the templates the stray ones deviating onto the Bears didn't really do anything. That in turn leaves the Stormclad too far behind to benefit from its accumulator rule. After Nemo casts his rupture feed on the Ironclad and ditches some focus into his overpower ability, the Ironclad advances cautiously. In round 2, the Butcher once again gives one focus to Victor and Nikita and upkeeps Iron Flash as well as Fury. The Pikemen advance into Shield Wall, ready to countercharge any heavy metal that might come their way. Rivers are gravy if you have Relentless Charge available. Ayana and Hold advance under Aisla's Veil, biding their time. The Warjacks and Bears run into the zone, the Butcher heads over to the nearest flag slowly. At this point I realized that the Butcher and any 5 or 6 focus caster is hard pressed in this scenario, because he has to be at a flag for a scenario win, but can't really influence the center controls and center zone events with focus or spells. So I'll say that I put him at the worst position to be in right now. If I'm not going for a scenario, he should have been more up close to support. And if I'm going for a scenario, he should be speeding for the flag. But he ended up in the middle. Nemo gives one focus to the Lancer and Sulis upkeeps the disruption field. The Storm Tower fires and misses. The Stormclad activates, accumulates a point of focus and runs. Rupert pipes heroic call again, upon which the Stormblades assault the Great Bears dropping Yarovich and Kolsk. Yeah, no tough checks for me. The Ironclad and the Lancer run. Nemo moves and casts for take snare onto Victor. Round 3. It's not like I haven't played Nemo before, and it's not like I don't keep reminding myself of the snare's capabilities, but it appears that in every bloody match against Nemo I run into the oldest trick in the book. <clears throat> However, this time around I knew about my shits and giggles. The Butcher allocates one focus to Boris and Nikita, upkeeps Fury, drops Iron Flash. He then activates, moves, feeds and fires his blunderbuss at the Storm Tower, killing the Grunt. Over killing the Grunt. Ayana and Holt move and she casts Kiss of Lilith onto the Stormblades. Holt shoots something else, I can't remember what. Now onto my grand plan. Boris activates and initiates a two-head throw against Victor. If I, lo if I lob him, just more than 3 inches away from Nikita, it's go time. However, Boris fails at the strength check. No. Apparently what takes Snare also bolts the target into the ground as well. Nikita does what he does best and drops the bomb, killing 4 Stormblades, damaging the Lancer and Boris. The pikemen are given the task to compensate for their heavy brother's inconsistencies and charge. Three converge on the ironclad, knocking him down and reducing him to one box. The other four charge the lancer, three damage him, while the fourth takes down another stormblade. I decide to use defensive formation to reform to my perceived them to my perceived advantage. Volkov charges and axes both another stormblade and the officer, but the officer makes the first tough roll of the day. 
Nemo gives a focus to the ironclad. The piper pipes Hero's call yet again. The Stormblades, in frustration, hack at Kolsk, who toughs it out. The ironclad runs to a more beneficial position. The storm tower fires and misses yet again. Silas tells the old man some arcane secrets. Nemo activates, goes get off my lawn and casts two chain lightnings at the ironclad and the arcing bolts fry a total of five iron fang pikemen. He then fires his love glove at the rest but the ball lightning deviates onto Victor and Nikita. Somebody apparently thinks that I like punishment. The stormclad accumulates a focus point, charges Nikita and deals 15 damage to him. Round 4 I wasn't totally convinced about things going downhill even with the situation as it presented itself. I'm somehow convinced that I can clear the zone now. Then again, I keep forgetting things about Nemo, but more on that later. Butcher allocates a point of focus to Boris and upkeeps Fury, for I am a man of cutting plans. <laughs> the Butcher in anticipation runs for the flag. The pikemen shield wall and continue to poke the lancer. Nikita moves and finally scraps the lancer with a 1-2 punch. Victor moves to axe the Stormblade officer but misses him. Volkov steps up to the task, kills the Stormblade grunt and the officer. Boris spends a focus point for a power attack slam and hurls himself into the Stormclad. However, I don't manage to roll a 4 or above, so the Stormclad remains in the zone and I don't score a point. Crud. Nemo does what I forgot he could. He supercharges the Stormclad with 5 focus and shakes the knockdown. Now that's bad news. Soon as upkeeps the disruption field because he can. Nemo activates next and recasts disruption field on the Stormclad. Now that's even worse news. The Storm Tower fires and fries another Iron Fang Pikeman grunt and damages the officer. The Piper again pipes the hero's call for the Stormblades, which in turn managed to take down Volkov. The Stormclad sort of sails into the zone between my jacks and with all his bot attacks scraps Nikita, molests Victor and lobs Boris's, Boris's right arm off, disrupting all of them as well. That thing is really starting to mess with plans big time. Round 5. The Butcher allocates no focus. Not that that ever was a problem. The pikemen get the charge order but with their attacks. The Butcher decides he has enough of this, charges the Ironclad and casts full throttle before the attack. The Ironclad explodes from the overexposure to sheer awesomeness. Victor then turns onto the Stormclad and crit freezes it with its axe, but the damage is not that great. Boris further pummels the Stormclades with his fists. Nemo, Nemo's turn again. Sulis upkeeps his disruption field, Nemo allocates 5 focus to the Stormclad and shakes stationary. The Piper pipes Hero's call and the Stormblades charge Boris for little damage. The Stormclad then, Stormclad then mops the floor with Victor and Boris. Afterwards, the Storm Tower fires at the Stormclad and the Arcing Lightning takes out the Iron Fang Pikeman officer. Controlling the zone and the flag, Nemo scores a point. Round 6. Apparently I'm running out of models. Okay, set Butcher to tank mode! Confident in 6 cam focus, the Butcher runs up into the control zone and the dog follows him. Nemo gives 4 focus to the Stormclad. The Stormblades charge, doing a 3 man combined melee attack and even deal 3 damage to the Butcher. Then the Stormclad charges in. I knew I had it coming, but I had to do something. However, he's out by a small bunch of millimeters. Round 7. Bloody hell, I need to get an axe in onto, into that Stormclad, but the Stormblades are a trap in the Butcher. Looks like a very situational situation, suited for a perfectly situational spell. Butcher casts Obliteration to kill one Stormblade, takes a stab, swings at the Stormclad and then casts Iron Flesh on himself. The Wardog moves up. Nemo, having gained two power tokens, allocates another five focus to the Stormclad. A Storm Gunner attacks and hurts the Wardog. The Nemo casts another Chain Lightning at the Stormclad, which deals no damage to the Butcher, even with Reinhold's Charm and Silas's Arcane Secrets. And the other arcs take out the dog and even fry the piper. The Stormclad swings at the Butcher, deals 8 damage to him, but his final attack misses. Round 8. Okay, they've killed the dog, you know what's up next. The Butcher upkeeps Iron Flesh, moves and scraps the Stormclad. Nemo is apparently dissatisfied with the situation as a whole. He gets the secrets and the charm. The Storm Gunner fails against the Butcher. Nemo then casts another Chain Lightning which scratches the Butcher. The Storm Tower misses. 
Round 9. The Butcher upkeeps Iron Flesh and runs. Nemo backs off to the flag. I realize I forgot about something in my hunt for Nemo. Oh yeah, the control zone. Reinhardt runs to seize the zone, but we measure and the Butcher is still in. That was close. But now, if my ch should my charge fail, I miss Nemo, or for some other reason I don't win, he auto wins. Nemo casts another arcane secret to chain lightning for a little more damage. Tenth round. Butcher drops Iron Flash, he charges Nemo, the old man goes down with two swings from Lola. The Butcher wins! In hindsight, what a drawn out grind fest, but that's what happens if the Butcher goes into tank mode. See, and seriously, when the Stormclad charged, he had he not been out or had he rolled better on the second attempt, it would have been Nemo's victory. Me taking three jacks with the Butcher did probably play to Nemo's advantage, but I could have circumvented that easily. When going down to victory points, you'll see that Signa is actually in the lead with 41 to 37, but I didn't actually factor the caster into this. Okay, uh, let's start with the Redux. I'm trying to get this uh, incorporated into the hindsights as well. VIP of the match, for me, that is definitely the Butcher himself. Though Volkov, who on his own accounted for a major share of that Stormblades, is a close second. The VUP of the match, the very unimportant person, um, I think Boris the Kodiak, for failing a two-handed throw when it could have been game-changing and for not slamming the Stormclad far enough away. My biggest blunder, mm. forgetting Nemo's rules despite Aridus repeatedly telling me and falling for that Voltaic snare move every bloody time. Any changes to the army list? Mm, maybe take out a jack, say the juggernaut, for another minimum infantry unit. And I need to try Silas Vishnali with the butcher. Alright, the next issue will be another battle report. The Butcher of Cardiff versus Gareth, the Blade of Retribution. Until then, farewell.